Welcome in everyone to this week's edition of the RSL Insider presented by AT&T. I'm your host John Kaluter here at Rio Tinto Stadium where it's a busy week for the Claret and Cobalt here in Sandy. It may be MLS week 25, but 23 appears to be the magic number here at Real Salt Lake this week. Hollow Jr., the newest addition, scoring in his RSL debut on Wednesday night's 4-1 win in CONCACAF play over Toronto FC, and 23 being the optimum number for the home undefeated streak in league play, which MLS, or RSL is looking to claim as its own Saturday against Chicago. We're going to catch up with the guys to talk about the Chicago Fire matchup and sit down with midfielder Will Johnson, but first, bring you post-game reaction from Wednesday night's big CONCACAF Group A win over the Reds. How did you guys manage to come back off the, the early deficit? Yeah, we were just very poor, uh, I think, at the start of the game. Our touches weren't there, our passes weren't on. Um, mm -hmm. We weren't together, I felt, and, and, and uh, they made us pay. Um, but I think we, we kind of figured it out and, you know, halfway through the first half. And, you know, once you get one goal, you kind of you know, get a rhythm. And, and uh, we found the second and, and, and the fourth came. Important was your strike to bring you guys back from the early Um, it, de it definitely helped us. Um, we really felt like you know we made a mistake. It's it's fine and just get on with it. And uh, main thing we was once we get a goal to tie it up, it would kind of take the sails uh, the wind out of the sails a little bit. And um, so we didn't panic. We just you know stayed with it. And, uh, we knew we'd get our shot. What what happened on the red card from your perspective? The guy he just kicked me after the play. You know, he just took a shot. Uh, can you talk a little bit about Robbie? First of all, he's one of my best friends on the team, and I believe in him as much as anybody else does, if not more. And um, I just have so much confidence in Robbie. I was so happy for him when he went to the World Cup, and uh, he's. He's just going to have an amazing career. And even if he doesn't score a goal, like last game, Jason said it, he was a beast for us. I remember one time late in the game, he ran all the way back into 18 and won a header um, to clear a ball out. That was practically inside of six. So he does things that people don't see, and it's easy for people to criticize uh, that aren't seeing what he does every day. But um, when he set that goal up, that was so unselfish, and what a great ball. And um, he, deserved, he deserved a lot of credit for it. In Chicago a few months ago was a, quite a defensive affair. What do you, what do you expect uh, this time around with a, a really quite desperate Chicago side coming in here? Uh, I mean, we think they're they're going to throw everything they have at us, uh, um, and our mentality is we're at home. Uh, and I think a lot of our away games this year we've tried to take that same mentality uh, that we play at home on the on the on the away trips as well. But um, we're going to come out and, and do what we've been doing here at home and, and pressure them and, and put them on their back foot and. Um, we get one early and, and hopefully uh, they'll die down a little bit. Speaking of playing at home, uh, a lot of talk about the undefeated streak. You get a chance to claim the record as your own, going for 23 straight on beating the league play. Just talk about the, the fortress that this place has become for you guys. Definitely. Um, I mean, it starts with the fans, I think, out here. They're, they're always giving us support and, and they're always great on game nights. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's definitely in the back of our minds that uh, we're going for a record here. but. I mean, we're just gonna focus on on what we've been doing this whole this whole time to get to get these numbers, you know. Um, and if we can do that, and just and just focus on, focus on what we need to to do in the game, and uh, it should it should work out. They've definitely got some firepower there, and also it's you know it's crunch time of the year for them. You know, they've got to try and make a push to make the playoffs. And so they're going to be coming in here, you know, looking to get uh, to get some points. And uh, I mean, it's a big game for us. So you know, coming up with a record here at home, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll just take it like any other home game and um, prepare that way. Will Johnson, midfielder, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Start off talking about uh, well, first of all, last night's win over Toronto FC, big, crucial three points in Concaf play. Let's talk about how the that kind of sets up the rest of this this extremely busy run over over the next three weeks. Yeah, that was a really important win for us last night. Um, anytime you play a team that's uh, just fired their coach and, and shaken things up a bit, it, it presents some very different challenges, challenges that you don't face all too often. Um, and uh, you know, we didn't deal particularly well within the first couple minutes, but uh, you know, throughout the game, we we managed to wear them down. And I think 
that emotional toll um, started to show through a little bit and we were able to, to punish them. We got some really good goals and uh, we could have had a few more. Going to uh, close this out Letterman style with a little viewer mail uh, via RSL's Facebook Nation. Uh, we'll start with Cindy Cox, who asks, how do you feel about having national team duty in the middle of MLS and CONCACAF play, and how does that affect you and your play? Yeah, I mean, it's tough because you have to switch over, and it's it's extremely difficult to, to have to watch your team on uh, usually on the Internet um, playing, their, playing their league games, games that I should be involved in. Um, it's a really extremely tough thing to do, you know, rooting for your guys, but you can't be there because you're away with the national team. It presents some challenges that other players in the world don't have to go through because all leagues, you know, um, they stop for FIFA dates. But obviously MLS is not quite in a position where they can do that. Hopefully one day they'll get to that point. But, um, you know, I understand why they can't right now. Uh, they can't just stop games all the time. So, you know, hopefully that's something they continue to build on because it's extremely tough. You know, I think you saw the... The Red Bulls had four guys missing for that game, and we had a couple. Um, but still, uh, you know, you're only as good as your last player, and, and obviously, it was uh, it was nice to see our guys win. And both Claudia and James Johnson ask, "What is the focus of the team concentrating more on, MLS Cup or Champions League?" Yeah, I think it's a, a dead heat. I really do. Um, our number one goal is to to get out of the the group in the the Champions League and and to to win another MLS Cup. They're both extremely important for us. Obviously, um, we're doing everything we can and we're, we're stretching ourselves. You know, our whole roster is getting involved, which is great. And, uh, and so far, we've been able to be pretty successful in, in both competitions. So uh, it's something that we've got to continue to balance, continue to work on. But they're both equally as important. Um, and uh, yeah, we look forward to, to hopefully making both of those goals, you know, realities. And one more question uh, from myself. You're notorious, uh, famous for your, your engine, uh, just your energy whipping around the midfield, box to box. Honestly, how many games can you play in a week? Five, six, seven even? Yeah, I, I mean, I could probably play every day. Jason Jason won't even let me play every other day, though. So, I mean, I guess that you should probably ask Jason how many games he'll let me play. And uh, and whatever number he throws out, I can I can promise you I can do it. Well, it's a big one uh, coming up Saturday against Chicago. We'll expect to see you against your former team uh, in the fire when they come here to Rio Tinto Stadium. Thanks for joining us, Will. And that will do it for this week's edition of the RSL Insider, presented by AT&T. Remember, right here at Rio Tinto Stadium, this Saturday afternoon, 2 p.m. matinee kickoff against Chicago Fire, presented by Cricket Wireless. You will not want to miss your chance at RSL going after a slice of MLS history, trying to bump that undefeated home streak in league play to 23 contests. You can get your tickets for the match right here at Rio Tinto Stadium box office or online at riotintostadium.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week on the RSL Insider.